Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Game Theory Lore Videos. First one I'm going to be watching is the first one in the series. I found a playlist on a search bar that said, all in order, so why not? No one. Literally no one. Fair, that's how I feel sometimes in Minecraft. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Mm hmm. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. Call it nostalgia. Call it a return to a more innocent time. Call it a desire to trend right off of PewDiePie's success playing the game that just overthrew Fortnite. That's the PCR dead. But I've been digging mm. through a lot of Minecraft. Yeah, that's my ice cream oh, drink. And, uh, you absolutely heard that right. According to Google Trends, Minecraft is now on top of Fortnite. Both nice. In terms of web search and here on YouTube. It's like the Grover Cleveland of video games. And by that I mean a game that was king, gave up its crown to someone else, but then snatched it back, just like old Grover C did when he was elected president. His history's only double president, for that matter. Honestly, it's like the only thing Grover Cleveland's known for. Heck, this 10 wow. fascinating facts article on it couldn't even come up with anything remotely interesting, let alone fascinating. What, what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, Minecraft, on the other hand, is endlessly fascinating, because for a game that's now 10 years old, happy anniversary, by the way, it's by the way, did you know that was my breath here? Oh sure, there's plenty of speculation and lots of really good ideas, but to my knowledge, no one has truly been able to piece together a final all encompassing all mysteries of this world tied together lore song. And so today I don't really plan on doing that. I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm starting to learn that mm. I don't take it really seriously when I say stuff like today we're <laughs> solving this. So let me instead say this, quite honestly. I'm going to do my best to start us on a journey to solve this thing. I want to start a conversation with all of you where we can pool our knowledge and figure this out together. I want to put together my thoughts on pieces of evidence that stood out as particularly interesting to me, okay. and to you what I interpret that to mean, and then lead further discussion in our collective communal hands. It's a theory. It's always a theory. And like any mm. theory, it's meant to be discussed, analyzed, criticized added to, tested, and because it's a theory about video games, it's meant most importantly of all to be fun. And if along the way we yeah. solve some deep-seated lore mysteries, great, more power to us. These games at the end of the day are puzzles to solve. So I'm going to do my best to lead that charge in solving those puzzles. But I want you to be there with me every step I will be. And so I will be. When even when you, Minecraft, even though you retired, I will still be here. Man. Originally programmed into the game as a joking reference to Slenderman, these tall, dark, and handsome creatures. Well, just tall and dark. I Are you saying they're not handsome? Cornerstone upon which all other lore in this game is built. Solving what the Endermen are is essential if we have any hope of truly coming to the definitive solution as to is the it? backstory of this game. And after exploring the design of survival mode, the gameplay decisions, even ancillary canonical content in books like the Mob Bestiary, surprise, surprise, I have myself a theory as to what they actually what are. are they? Admittedly, it's not a new theory. But what it lacks for in originality, it more than makes up for in evidence and observation. It is my proposal to you today <sighs> that the Endermen aren't aliens, uh, they're not ghosts. Uh, I almost thought that they were insects, but that uh, didn't out. No, what got... they are is human. They're oh God. humans. Humans who are in trouble, a literal fight for their lives and needed an escape. And in the process, they suffered a horrific reducing them to the moaning shadows of a fallen civilization that they are in hell. So, mm. the true spirit of Minecraft, let's start building the future of our humanity, theory, shall we? What do we know about these creatures? Well, first, we know that they're one of the game's neutral mobs, meaning that they're not going to attack you unless they're actively provoked. This is already interesting because it means that, in many ways, they come in I mean, look at the list of mobs and all of their behavior patterns. Anything else that's nice to you is either an animal, a villager, or a zombie pigment, which is weird and honestly merits an episode of its own for another day. Everything, yeah. and I mean everything else, is hostile, except for the mm. So already there's a bit of an odd, tenuously peaceful relationship between us and the Endermen, but it gets even weirder when you consider that they're the only other creatures other than Steve or Alex able to move blocks. Sure, Damn, yeah, that actually is big evidence. Blocks they pick up, but carrying blocks is an ability only shared between our character and the Endermen. As the mob bestiary says, quote, they will not just pick up any block, but will choose only clay, dirt and sand, flowers and other plants, and rather oddly TNT. Some claim Enderman is indulging in a 
the form of play or attempting to communicate. Speaking of mm. communication, we also know that they can talk. Or really? Or at least have the ability to talk. Oh yeah, I always heard, what's up? That's really all I heard. Listen to some of the sound clips from when Endermen are idling near you. Okay. Okay, yeah, I heard the what's up, but I didn't hear anything else. Real language that we as humans can understand. Listen again, you should be hearing, hey. Hello. This next one is really clear. What's up? Yeah, that's right, yeah! And look for the eye. I never heard that. Presumably is referencing eyes of Ender, the items that allow you to find strongholds where they're used to activate a portal to the end. Home of the Enderman and the game's final boss, the Ender Dragon. So mm. we have ourselves neutral creatures who are able to move blocks just like us and have language abilities far beyond what we hear elsewhere in the game from characters like the villagers. It's certainly But we don't talk either. Unless you include chat, we don't talk. A lot of odd similarities to be sure, but far from airtight evidence that the Endermen are somehow related to men. men. But now let's take a minute to actually look at their home, the end. The end is a weird final dimension for Minecraft. It honestly feels to me like when the game started to run out of money, ah. that it could ever run out of money. With yeah. the whole thing just being a bunch of endstone and purple blocks, ugly purples and yellows everywhere, huge chunks of landscape missing, and giant cities that you can visit far off in the distance, yeah. all of which are eerily empty. This is the home of the Endermen, sure. Even the Mob Beast here, he says it. But look closer and you see that while the Endermen may call this dimension home, and they certainly mm -hmm. wander around in the empty open landscapes, these giant looming Thanos purple buildings aren't for them. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look inside the end cities. Yeah. There's tons of great loot hidden all over the place. Inside the chests, you can find everything from enchanted swords to saddles and armor for your horse. The Minecraft Gamepedia breaks down everything that we can find here. But something's wrong with that list. None of these items are actually useful to the Endermen. Yeah. They don't wear armor, they yeah. don't attack with swords, and they certainly don't ride animals. Heck, there are no animals in the end to ride. Even the fact that the items are kept in chests should be a huge red flag here. Remember, Endermen are only picking up certain blocks, and none of those blocks entail chests. They can't use these things, or the thing that stores those things. All yep. of this points to the idea that the end's cities weren't built by the Endermen. They were built by and for someone else. Some other ancient people who managed to get to the end. When you start up a new survival mode game, you enter a blank world. Immediately you notice that you're the only one of your kind. Yeah, um, I actually don't notice that for a long, long time. Like villagers, but they're not like you. They don't look like you. They can't build like you. You and the villagers are fundamentally different. Yep. Almost as if you're a different species. This fact is even supported by zombie attacks. When bit, a villager doesn't transform into a normal zombie. It turns specifically into a zombie villager. Yeah. Regular zombies and zombie villagers are different. In fact, the only times that you ever really see anything that looks even remotely like you is always in the form of undead enemies. Zombies, drowned, husks. It implies that once wow. upon a time there were other humans here, but they all died en masse. It's a strange detail that you probably noticed, but you shrug it off and you continue. Yeah, on the yeah. Covering pre-existing structures. I can just continue building my structures. In the desert, monuments underwater, oh. all abandoned, all of them lost time. Again, you're the only person who could build things in this world, and you certainly didn't build any of these things. So yeah. Where did they come from? Making things even more suspicious is the fact that ruins like desert temples are protected by cleverly designed booby traps. Elaborate. I wouldn't really say developly. I wouldn't say cleverly designed. They're kind of simple. Big floors complete with pressure plates and grids of TNT. It all points to one thing an advanced society of builders once lived in the overworld have since disappeared. So that makes the hmm. question, where did they go? Maybe they all died, which in turn led to the armies of the Steve unsaved Steve Senior. Have to guard against everything. Hey, doesn't that, mean, that doesn't make that sense, but okay. Stop the whole story, because we know Why are we still here? Somewhere, teleported somewhere. Well, they could have gone anywhere. How are we still here? We Shouldn't we remember this? That one of the places they ended up was the end. How can we be so sure? Stronghold. Strongholds are the hidden ancient ruins that contain massive portals to the end. Whatever this ancient society was, they were so advanced that they could figure out how to build these things. 
which in turn makes them more advanced than even you, the player. In survival mode, but aren't that we supposed to be descendants? Frames necessary to construct this thing. In order to I mean, the end, you must like, find yeah, these portals hidden within the. Minecraft named it Stronghold, a term yeah. that refers to a highly secure structure built for defending against attacks. And there's that idea again, an ancient civilization of advanced builders that was quickly dying. A group of builders, just like our player, who were being threatened in the overworld and needed Why the fuck did you put a gas tier instead of like a zombie? Because that's... What gas is in the... What gas is in the overworld? Like, unless you actively bring a gas to the overworld, there's no way to get there. Hold up, don't we beat them with the same exact items and they probably had entire armies. They probably had entire armies just heading to the end. So that's bull. There's that's bull that they couldn't beat this thing. But not against an otherworldly foe, a giant foe. Bull. That is bull. We beat them easily. Some people speedrun them and beat them with like iron armor. They came in there with diamond enchanted ar diamond armor. And you're telling me that they could not beat the Ender Dragon. That is bull. Even I've beaten the Ender Dragon once with iron armor. So that is bull. No potions, no nothing but with towering beacons that restore its health. They couldn't defeat this thing, hence why it's still living when we arrive. And as we know from game, the only way out of the end. I'm not disproving that his theory. I'm just saying that's kind of bull. Generations. They learn to live in harmony with the dragon. They make a new life with whatever Why? limited resources they have there, building homes using the strange end stones and purple blocks. They run out of food and soon have nothing to eat, so they turn to the strange chorus fruits found there. Chorus fruits, which, funny enough, have teleportation properties. And over time, they begin to change. They adapt to their new surroundings. Oh, sure, they retain some human features. According to the diagrams of the Mob Bestiary, their brains mm -hmm. are very human like, and they have the flat faces and wide eyes indicative of humans. They still do vaguely look like our player character. Yeah. They evolve to grow taller, which makes picking the tall stalks of chorus fruit easier. Why they discover. To how giraffes next got Why they turn black? I understand this might be a little bit racial, but why'd they turn black? Why the hell did they turn black? I mean, once you go black, you don't go back, so... ...or easily reach higher up leaves. The fruit's teleportation ability starts to rub off on them. So instead of having to rely on ender pearls to teleport around, they instead naturally... How were the ender pearls developed without them having teleportation? We get them off of them. So you tell me that they... You know what? I actually have a theory on this. Maybe they went to the end... And, like, they started experimenting on the fruit. They found the essence of the teleportation, started making ender pearls, and then they just kept them on them, or they started producing them themselves inside their bodies or something. That's my theory right now. The ability from their diet. Over time, they yeah. slowly forget their ability to build. Maybe yeah. They build when there's no escape, when there's not even many resources with which to craft. But they still retain the ability to pick up blocks. Though their skill for speech gets forgotten, they do retain a rudimentary language, still speaking in those distorted words. This once great builder society slowly, generation after generation, transforms into the Enderman. Hmm. Even some of their memories may still remain. One odd detail of the Enderman is that wearing a pumpkin on your head prevents them from becoming aggressive. Maybe it reminds them somewhere deep down of a simpler time, or of the friendly golems that they would construct back up. It's most likely because they can't really see your eyes, so they think that you're not looking at them. The overworld. Regardless, the 
civilization is stuck there. Oh sure, some are able to teleport out to the overworld or into the nether, but most are forced to live there, under the rule of the dragon. And we know this isn't by choice, mm. because when you finally arrive in the end, when you finally defeat their oppressor, the achievement we receive is free the end. The Endermen at this point are so yep. far gone from the people they once were that they're no longer able to appreciate what's happened. But in defeating the dragon, you as the player have brought closure to this oppressed civilization. One that was forced to flee to a new dimension in order to survive, only to wind up trapped yet again. And that, my friends, is the story of Minecraft. You're a builder, and you follow in the path of the great builders who came before you, discovering their work, learning of their enemies, unlocking their technology, and of ultimately course. freeing them from their greatest oppressor. Now, admittedly, there are sure. some difficult things to explain here, like how this ancient civilization got access to the Ender Pearls nest. Oh, wait, yeah, the Ender Pearls are here before? Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. They couldn't have experimented on the fruit, so. What? No, yeah, I'm not There's gonna guess. The eyes of Ender required to build a portal for the end, if they themselves become the Endermen, it would require some sort of time loop, which honestly there isn't a whole lot of evidence for. Instead, my thought here is that the Ender Pearls are items that they learn to create before becoming Endermen, before going to the end. Yeah. Think about this. We know that this ancient civilization was able to access the Nether. End rods and eyes of Ender both require blaze-related materials to craft. So this civilization had definitely visited that dimension and thus knew how to access the powers of teleportation so huh. maybe they learned how to harness that in a smaller portable form i.e the ender pearl before ever making it to the end i'm not 100 percent sure yeah. it's honestly just speculation to try and solve for this theory's biggest problem anyway i want to know what do you think did you like it did you not let's build it i like it why do they hate ender mites where'd the villagers come from and seriously what is the deal with the zombie pigman civilization like i said the endermen are just the start to the puzzle that is minecraft but there is still plenty more here for us to discover so we yeah then, i can't remember that's just the a theory. theory a game theory, theory. i'll see you next watching. time oh i should have matched